In this week's gospel, it talks about how Jesus was traveling with his disciples and he was saying, follow me, follow me. And some of them were saying, no, 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 wait, I have to go do this first or no, I have to do this first. And today we still have that, those excuses coming up. We always say, oh, well, I'm too tired to go to mass or I'm too tired to pray or I'm too busy going, I want to go hang out with my friends. Um, but it's still so important to make time for God in our lives. I make time for Jesus in my life uh, by making sure I talk to Him every single day. When I, whether it's when I get up in the morning, or when I get home from school, or before I go to bed, or all of the above. As long as I just have that conversation and thank Him for everything He's given me, or talk to Him about, I had a really stressful day today and thank you for being with me. Um, and also, knowing God's there on like the happy days, it makes things so much more exciting because you're like, wow, my father is literally right beside me and he knows everything and how much I'm happy right now. Sometimes it's not that easy to follow the voice because we have so many distractions in our lives, like, like Vanessa said, with all the things that we have going on. Um, so I think that it's good that we take time aside to focus on all of the things that we have to cherish that God has given us. I think that things that help me follow Christ is that just the people that I have around me, I like to surround myself with very loving people and they have the same passion that I do for Christ. Things that make it easier for me to follow Christ is like if I read the Bible, like even if I'm not reading like a whole book in the Bible, but if I just read one verse, it might just spark something new in my faith and just make it easier to be like, oh yeah, God is gonna be there for me all the time. Making a commitment sometimes can be really hard if it's not something that you necessarily feel like you want to do in that moment or in that week or that day. But knowing that once you say, I'm gonna do this, you need to follow through and that you get so much more out of it after because you can say, wow, I actually did what I said I was going to do. I think the reason that sometimes we fail in our commitments is that we have a lot of things going on. And I know for me that there's a lot of things going on in my life, so it's very hard to balance everything. And I just gotta make sure that I get all my commitments done that I promise to do. Making a commitment to Christ um, for lots of people is hard. Well, for everybody, I think, in some times of their life, um, because you can't all the, like you can't physically see Him. You can't just like look over and I can't be like, oh, hey God, and he's not there, like Lindsay is right there. And so you have to really have faith and it takes a while to grow that faith. Um, I think that my advice is just to challenge yourself and just um, try to move Keep moving forward and just know that God is going to be with you every step of the way and um, He's never going to like stop being in your life. And even though sometimes we some like get caught up in a whole bunch of things, God is always there when you need Him.